Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. Yes, it's evening time as I'm recording, so you guys will see this in the morning. So um, this is a general message for my beautiful baby Geminis, and um, it's not going to resonate with each and everybody. I just want to say welcome, 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 new subscribers, returning subscribers, cross watchers, all here is welcome. I hope you guys' day went well. We're ending the week tomorrow on Friday, so by the time y'all see this, it's happy Friday. Did I just fuck it up these cards and switch them out? Anyway, Jim and I, just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force something that doesn't fit. So we're going to get into our song, Choir, Come to the Front. Okay, house announcement because it's going to bother me. I broke my nail at the gym today, okay? So it looks a little, it's been broken. Olympus has fallen. So I'm getting it fixed, okay, either tomorrow or Saturday, just depending on what I have to do, but it'll be four fingers today. Anyway, my baby Gemini's, come on, choir. One, two, three, go! Gemini, 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 I say Gemini, 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 oh, oh, Gemini, 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 Gemini. All right, let's give the choir a hand. Let's give the choir a hand. You know what I felt all y'all's energy in that song, child? I be wanting to get up from my fucking table and pop lock with y'all, but I can't, I can't do that. I got to stay here in the camera, <laughs> so y'all. So anyway, we're going to get into it. Somebody sad, Gemini, that you building without them. Yeah, they feel like it's a faded event and they praying for you, Gemini. I don't even know where this energy is going. Lord, have mercy. But I do want to say I'm very proud of the collective and I love you guys so much. I am so thankful that I have this type of tribe. Okay, I don't know about anybody else's chance still, but my chance still. We have the best. The Geminis are so welcoming and warming. And I love the messages from the collective. I mean, from Geminis welcoming the collect. Yeah, honey, they they honey, they want to generate because they think it's faded. But anyway. <laughs> I want to say thank you guys. You guys encourage one another, uplift each other. Like that is such a beautiful thing. And that's rare to see in this world sometimes because we hear about so many of the negative things that go on. And, you know, we're all going through something somehow. You know what I mean? And then some of us aren't. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, but we're there to help and be each other's backbone and for each other and help learn, grow and evolve and become better than we were the day before. And that's the, mo you know, that's the, um, I was trying to think of that. That's the mission statement of this channel. Yes. Okay. Now I'm done. Let's go. What's going on in Gemini's ancestors, Holy Spirit, Ascendant Masters? Why is somebody like, what's happening? Okay. We got the fate. So something is a fated event because whatever is going on in your life, because Gemini, I'm feeling the energy of new things are coming on in your life and this is these are all faded events everything that happens whether you think it's a mistake or not is never a mistake it's faded but whatever's going on in your life this is a faded event and you feel it inside i hear it on um, black eyed peas i got a feeling woohoo that tonight's gonna be a good night but instead of night it's gonna be life okay you're gonna have a good life gemini you guys are having good life it's faded yeah. All because you left. You went to the edge. You said goodbye, bitches. You jumped off the motherfucking cliff. You took that leap of faith on yourself, Gemini. Hallelujah. This is a high vibe um, reading for the high vibers, okay? And then, you know, I can feel my other newborn babies coming up into the high vibe, rising up, okay? That is exciting to feel. Good job. We are doing our thing, you guys. We are raising the vibration of our collective. Yes. Okay. So you came to the edge, Booskies, okay? Because it's a fated event for you to take a leap of faith on yourself and become this rising star. Whether it be at your job, whether it be whatever you do, it's just time for you to break out of that shell. And you're going to get this new life in this fated event because you done came to the edge. And like I said, somebody was sad. Remember? Member? You member. Crusty is feeling orphaned, honey. This is a woundy, crusted, sad, depressive. 
Look at these. This is what I'm saying. These cards, energy, Gemini, this is your energy. Your energy is happy. It's free. It's light. It's lovely. It's airy. It's effervescent. It's non-blocked, you know? And then this is desolate and despair, okay? I'm, I'm picking up wounding, okay? And you guys, check out the community board. I uplifted, uplifted, <laughs> uploaded a new song on there. A new song. It's an old song. It's by Janae Aiko. And B, it's BS. And that is perfect because that's what I'm feeling for the collective. You're back up on your bullshit. Like you 17, okay? You doing your damn thing. You flexing on your ex and your uh, model ex and shit. Some of y'all are your new core, Okay, I'm hearing some of y'all made some big purchases, and you guys are doing big things for your life. I'm hearing houses. Some of you guys, congratulations on your first purchase of your house, or where you're moving to another location. That's up. Whatever it is, it's an upgrade, and this is a faded event, okay? And if it's not, it's coming because this is a faded event for the high vibes, okay? High vibes feel like this. They feel sparkly all over. And I know I read the comments. Some of you guys are not in a good spot, but you guys keep watching. You're going to get here because some of y'all are feeling orphaned. Okay, I don't want you to feel orphaned. I want you guys to release whatever it is, blockages, and come to the edge. Let go. Let go of the 3D and think divine and go high up in the sky. Okay? Because this is where the stars are. They're not down here. I'm sorry, you guys. They're not down here. Okay? That's why some of you guys are sad. You guys need to refocus, regroup. There's been life changes. A lot of you guys are having a hardship and a hard time. I'm sorry. Um, but changes are coming. As long as you do the work, I promise. I, God ain't never fail and he never will because he can't and it's impossible. So your perception is your reality. Some of you guys need to change your mindset. Okay? Stop doing the same thing and come to the edge a little bit. Because they say insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, right? I want to look at the time like, what's going on? What's going on? Because <laughs> um, this motherfucker will cut off of a certain time. I'll be like, wait a minute. But anyway, so once you come to the edge, you know what I mean? And this is faded because why you guys are watching the channel. I'm here to help you guys grow and evolve as you help me. We help each other, right? So, you guys, once you do that, because a lot of you are here, my high vibers, this is ahead of you, okay? Treasure Island, a lot of you here are now, but my other babies, once you start to let go and release the blockages, see how this is a flowy, see, the energy is supposed to flow. You need to get that chi going, get that chi going, okay? I noticed that all religions have a, this, this one, look, it's all about energy. At the end of the day, it's energy. God is the source, the ultimate source, substance, limits, bounds, origins, essence of all things good and bad. And you have to learn how he flows and how he works in order for you to be living the abundant life that you were meant to live because it is a fated event. However, you have to come to the edge and some of you have to get out of this energy Okay, this is a low vibrating energy. And on the other hand, um, to love somebody in this energy, honey, and they want to come to the edge with you, Gemini and nine nine, and because they feel it's a faded event. You guys are soulmates, but no, you are the star, okay? You doing this on your own, okay? And you look unbothered as you do what you do, okay? And you are unbothered. You don't care what nobody thinking, okay? Because you think you flawless, Bitches is confident. <laughs> That's Keisha Cole. Hey. Um, and what is the card in my hand? Okay, Treasure Island. So this person is orphaned, Gemini. Or you're orphaned because you're trying to get to this Treasure Island. And you feel like it's far away. But look at the energies. They're not even matching the frequency of what you're asking for. Okay? As above, so below. You, uh, you have not because you... Ask not, nor do you believe it. Belief and faith go hand in hand, and faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. All right, let's go to church today now. All right, Gemini. Okay, no woundy crusties. You know, we're going to do healing over here. Look, you guys become flexible. Be flexible. Be more flexible when things are coming. I know when challenges come, you know what I mean? That's when you're supposed to be tested to come to the edge to face your obstacles to overcome, okay? And then one, let me see, let me go. Yeah, once you're flexible and you remain positive and happy, you see the solar plex chakra, this orange energy, the sacral root, all that, 
Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Be grounded and flexible and have belief and faith, damn it. And come to the edge. And don't be feeling fucking orphaned in it because God has a recipe. There's a recipe like when you make a cake, there's recipe for cakes and cornbread, right? Well, you use some of the same ingredients. However, if you use cornbread recipe, you're, gonna, you're not going to get a cake. You have to follow it's in specific instructions to get a certain outcome. You cannot be operating in a low vibration to be getting into this high energy state, okay? And this is a mental thing. It's just not physical. It's, it's everything. It's body, mind, and spirit. So you can have Treasure Island. Some of you do have Treasure Island. But you're still in this energy. Why? You have everything. So why are you in this energy? Exactly. Yeah, because why? You don't have any faith. You need to have more faith. You need to have more belief. You need to be, be more flexible, okay? Um, and you need to come up higher into the edge. You need to come to the edge, release your blockages, and start communicating with divine. Because divine makes things happen. He the one. Him the one. Him. Okay? Oh, did I mix up all these damn cards? I sure did. Lord have mercy. I'm sorry, Gemini. I was just getting into, you know, I don't know where that went. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. Um, and yeah, and what else for my baby Gemini's angels? Yeah, you guys got, it's time to clean up the energy, release the blockages or the people, places, and things that no longer serve your highest good and interest. It's okay. It's okay to clean up. Don't be holding up dust and fucking, uh, moth, what is it? Mothballs and, you know, some of you guys need to mop your floor. You need to clean up your house physically and spiritually, okay? I'm just saying. Stop being lazy, okay? Don't be lazy. I'm going to just can't tell this as a side note. You know, because I, I go to the gym sometimes. Well, a lot of times I go. Most of the time I do. And it is a hard thing for those of you that are not into working out. But that's a, a, a crucial part of life is work, just like you eat every day, you breathe every day. You're supposed to exercise, if not three times a week, but every fucking day. Whether it be outside taking a walk, getting some fresh air into nature. Yeah, go, go out, take a walk. Come to the edge, y'all. Get your asses out the house and start breathing some fresh air. I know there's the virus and all. Look, put your mask on and go outside and take a walk. <laughs> Because that'll get the endorphins going because a lot of you are in this energy, okay? So get out of that and that'll cleanse a lot of the negative energy, get your endorphins going. And then once you start walking, you're going to feel this way. Once you start exercising, this is how you feel because I feel this way every single time I work out at gym. When I wake up in the morning at 4 o'clock, I'd be like, oh my God, it's so it's the warm, the warm bed and I don't want to get out and I don't want to... Uh, and then the father be like, but you know how you be feeling when you, when you, you know, leave. And then a lot of times I use the steam room every single time that I go anyway. And I feel amazing every time. I feel like this, all zenned out and shit. Y'all need to try that shit. I'm telling you, y'all need to get it together. High vibes, I'm sure a lot of you all do that too. You can start doing self-care. That's part of exercising. So, you know, and breathing, a lot of you guys need to breathe. You're not being flexible in your breath. That's why you're not flexible because a lot of y'all don't even breathe right. You guys don't even, yeah, this is air to me, okay? Fresh air, come up, get outside and do something. Move your body, move your blood, okay? Start living in the here and now because a lot of y'all are living in the past, the Spirit's telling me, because you're like, oh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but this didn't happen and this didn't work out, okay? Well, today is another day, okay? We're here and now. Move forward. You can't be living in the future and you can't be living in the past. You have to live in the now, right now. Be thankful. Be grateful. You, only thing, you can't do nothing about the past and you can just prepare for your future and then you can just do what you can do now. But see, divine run every damn thing. So you, that's what the whole thing comes back to divine. A lot of y'all ain't, ain't doing your thing. Y'all ain't communicating with divine and that's why y'all feeling homeless, because he is the comforter within. Thank you. And that's where man be looking for God, and the God is within. And, and, and that's where he gives you the ability to communicate with him. Okay? Okay. So once you do all of these things, then slowly but surely, you will be regenerating a new life. And that is a faded event as well. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is come to the edge. That's all you got to do is come to the edge, change a little bit of things around, change your mindset, okay? 
And that'll start a regeneration. You're bringing, bringing in new energies, new fresh energies, where you're going to be able to be more flexible for these changes. The 10, that's change, a new beginning, okay? You see how she looks so, I, this is a happy card to me. She's like, hell yeah, I'm fucking free. I'm flexible. I'm doing the thing. Okay, some of you guys are gymnastics. Okay, y'all flexible as hell. Okay, cute physiques and things like that. Y'all get y'all, some of y'all just got your hair done and shit. I ain't mad at you. You. Okay. And some of y'all sad that you couldn't get your hair done. Okay. Y'all can't do shit because you just sit in this energy where you're, you're going to continue to attract exactly what this is if you don't get out of the state. And this is not for everybody. So I'm talking to somebody specific. This is, you know, my high vibes are y'all. Y'all are doing good. Y'all done cleaned up. Okay. Y'all are in the here and now right now. Okay. Y'all ain't living in the past and y'all just preparing for the future. Okay. And you, you're regenerating every fucking day. You're having some, you know, you're looking at a new things from a new perspective, I, I want to say. A lot of you have, and this is what's going on right now with you. All because you changed your perspective and came to the edge and went outside and did some, some of y'all started exercising. You know what I mean? And that opened up, you know, your mind and your endorphins and things like that. And now you're in this treasure island energy and it feels amazing, okay? You guys are easy breezy, most of you. If not all of you, not all of you, so I'm going to say not all of you, but a lot of you, okay? I feel it in my collective energy, okay? You guys are very successful. You're on Treasure Island. It took a long time to get here with this turtle, but you're here, okay? And it's stable. This is stable income because you cleaned up the energies, okay? And what else for my beautiful baby Gemini? Okay, this, I guess, this is almost a serious reading. I couldn't, you know, the spirit didn't let me see no humor in this one. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, but, okay, Woundy Krusty is trying to come through. They just bombarding their way through. Father, let me get a glass. Let me take some sips on this one. Shit. God. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, that almost failed. Jesus Christ, help. Ooh, help them. Yeah, when do you want to cover up your shit and they want to be seen and they want to generate because they feel like it's no place like home because they looking at you like Treasure Island, Gemini. They wish they were more flexible. They were like, hmm, I'm the thinker. Hmm, I wish they would have been more flexible. Okay, I guess the humor. See, when Wendy and Krusty come in, there's no, they're a big joke. And that's why nothing but humor comes, okay? So I guess the humor's coming, okay? The comedy show has begun with Wound and Crust. They're like, oh, I should have been more um, flexible with <laughs> Gemini. I would have been happy, happy, happy. But no, they wouldn't have been happy, happy, happy because they in this damn energy. Okay, no. It was a faded event for you to release that raggedy and clean up, woundy, and sweep out crusty out the fucking door. Period. Okay, you because you got to live in the here and now. These motherfuckers was keeping you stagnated. And you need, look, don't look back and prepare for your future. And you cannot prepare for your future with Woundy and Krusty involved because they're dragging this energy on. Look at this vibrant, beautiful green energy. And then here it is, death-like energy. Hell to the fucking no. It's a no for me. Look, you got to clean out the, see this brown shit? This is like stagnated energies and dust and dirt. You got to sweep them shits out. And that's what had happened. And then you became happy, happy, happy. Yeah, you did. And that's the truth be told, okay? But now these things, these motherfuckers want to do what about it. So you did tell this person before you chopped the wood and swept them out the fucking door, whoever, woundy, crusty, sleepy, um, yeah, all of that. You told them, okay? You're wise, but this person thought they knew every fucking thing. They, the person think they smarter than you, low-key, high-key. But if you're so smarter than my baby Gemini's, why are you in a crusty, woundy, thirsty, hungry, homeless, cold, depressive energy? <laughs> I'm laughing because that shit, that's their choice. Gemini, you chose otherwise, honey, because that's why you're in this energy. High vibes, okay? So it's all about the choices that we make in life dictate our outcome, okay? Okay, and so now Krusty wants to do things by the book. Yeah, they do. They want to have a family with you and everything. Oh, if I just had a baby by Gemini and just did things by the book, we'd be happy. One big happy family. No, you wouldn't because there's chaos and conflict because this person didn't even know who they were or who they are till this day. They don't know if they a fucking giraffe. 
They don't know if they a horse. They don't know if they a fucking zebra. I'm picking up. They don't know their sexuality. I, I'm picking that up. I got to say it. So Gemini picked that up too. So you said, oh, hell no, nah, motherfucker. It's time for me to go because I need my motherfucking peace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, they were like, I'm running out of time. I'm getting too old to be going through this motherfucking bullshit. And I'm releasing this motherfucker because we've spent too much time going back and forth, back, back, forth and forth. I don't know how long y'all been together, if y'all been together, wait, however time, however time it has been, it has been too long and it's, you don't want to waste no more. And that's why you're in this energy because you ain't got time to waste, okay? Time is money and money is time, pretty much, Gemini, okay? But Lord have mercy. Mm, this person want oh i said it before i even said this bottom card that's like this person because i seen the store is this a pelican or a store i don't know i'm gonna say in my mind because i see it as a store because this is exactly what i seen on the card at the bottom but i'm about to show you on this one so when i first seen this card i was like oh my god they're gonna want to message gemini and everything and, a, and then and then the spirit say yeah they want to message you that they want a family situation so they want to have a baby with not they're gonna they're not gonna tell you that they want a baby with you, Gemini, or want whatever they want to do for those of you that are a childbearing age, like young in your 20s and 30s or whatever, and your 40s too. Shit, I don't know about 50s, but ain't 40? Oh, like whatever. This person want to knock you up, Gemini. And they want to message you, but they want to message you to get into your good graces so they can be in a relationship with you so they can't knock you up. That's what I wanted to say. And that's why, why, why did I say that? Because they feel this. They like, you're my soulmate, and I love you. And then at a time, one day, you were like this too. But your ass ain't like this no more, honey. You like, mm-mm, bitch. It's time to motherfucking go. Okay, I ain't got time to fuck with this shit. You ain't got time, Gemini. What else, angels? And I'm going to end this reading. So y'all are doing a good job, y'all guys. I guess, what is the point of this reading? They fear is don't stop, keep going. Okay, angels, shit. They run it. I work with spirit. Okay, so the angels was like... Now all they're they're in their, they're stuck in their head. Woundy, crusty, sleepy, thirsty. They're in their head. They're going back and forth. Should they message you? Should they not? Should they message you? Time's a ticking. It's time to go. Oh Lord, they feel they know. And whatever, some truth has been revealed to these motherfuckers that you done, Gemini. You've moved on. You ain't going back. No, no, no. Mm -mm. You you were fair already to this motherfucker, and you got tired, Gemini. This is what I'm picking up. Tick tock, chop wood. You know, they, they nervous and shit. Now they want to come to the edge. Before, they didn't want to do shit by the book. But now you leaving and they want to regenerate. Like, what? But then they going to come back to you, Gemini? Mm -mm, mm -mm. They going to come back to you because they feel like you're no place like home. And they your peace. Because you're in this energy right now, Gemini. You're in peace. And they're conflict and chaos. So they're going to bring all this shit to you. And you don't want to... There's no conflict and chaos on Treasure Island. There's nothing but love, butterflies, peacefulness. You see the ocean's all calm. The turtle or tortoise or wherever he is. Just chilling. You know what I mean? But this motherfucker is... Oh, hell no. Gemini. So they thinking. They have been thinking. I would be happy with Gemini. You're my soul mate. This is how this person, ugh, they probably laugh like that, too. That's irritating as fuck. You're like, ill, Okay? Ew. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, oh, what is, what fell? What are these cards that fail? Okay, you, they feel like, you know, a place like home, so now they want to generate. But, Jim and I know, this is a never-ending story with this person. It's like, never-ending story. Because this is, look, they always want to leave an orphan you. Because something else better, they think this they going to go to the edge and do some shit that they have left your ass for some treasure island for somebody that was more flexible with their cooch, with her coochie. Because this low-key, mm -mm, that's I'm just going to say. That's what spirits say. That's the truth. Shit. They say, left to you to be some more flexible with somebody coochie. Cause, and they thinking now, like, damn, Gemini was the shit. Exactly, Gemini was the shit. Gemini was fair. Gemini was poised. That's how they see you. But I don't know what, oh shit, okay, what else, what else angels, observe it, so now they spying on you, because you're in this yin energy, you're in this peaceful tranquility, 
you're the calm, happy, happy, happy. You're in your fated star event. Like some of y'all are on a platform and stars and shit. Some of y'all are on your Instagram, your TikTok, your whoever, whatever it is, okay? Yeah, you're yinny. You're really yinny right now. You're fair, you're balanced, you're poised, you're beautiful, and you, now they want to go the distance. You know, I'm done. I'm going to end this reading. Angels, <laughs> give me another card to end this reading. So the bottom line, okay, so let me break it down. Y'all already know. The bottom line is Gemini, y'all doing y'all damn thing, okay? The high vibes are in a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. The lower vibes, you guys are, um... You got to just clean up and do a little bit of work. You know, raise your vibration. Do what I told you to do in the beginning of the video, okay? And then for the woundy, crusted story, this is what they're going through because you guys, the high vibes are elevating so fucking high that it's like making them in a deep-ass depression and now they want to come back and regenerate with you because whatever they went to, it did never work out over there because it never was going to work out over there because it was a faded event for all these things to go down and happen. Just to show you how God's great, okay? Like, um, and also, now they're thinking, okay, what, what, what happened? Why does this person want to come back? What happened over there? Because I'm nosy. I need to know, Gemini, shit. They want to be fair, but what happened? Oh, let me grab another deck, possibly, and see. Angels. Holy Spirit, why did they go over to the other side and then why they want to come back now, okay? They like, <laughs> they thought they were going to be victory and success, okay? And then why did they go over there, angels? Why did they go over there? Why did they go over there and want to come back now? Oh, they went over there, okay, I feel you. They just, because there was a, another lever over there. Why did they go to the other lever, though? 